Hello, my name is Dr. Shama Matthews. I'm one of the physicians at Women's Healthcare of Princeton. Today, I will be speaking about minimally invasive surgery. Minimally invasive surgery is an option for surgery in which small incisions are made into the abdomen. Um, a camera and small instruments are inserted in order to perform major procedures. There are several gynecologic procedures that can be done in this way. Procedures and surgeries for uterine fibroids, abnormal uterine bleeding, um, and endometriosis and pelvic pain, pelvic prolapse, and ovarian cysts. There are several benefits to having a procedure done minimally invasive as opposed to open. An open incision typically results in a much longer recovery time, uh, much more blood loss, and potential uh, complications and risks. In minimally invasive surgery, which can be laparoscopic or robotic, the recovery time is often significantly reduced, typically two to four weeks at most. The blood loss is significantly reduced as well, as well as infection risk and um, complications while in the abdomen. What is laparoscopy? So laparoscopy is where a camera is inserted into the abdomen, typically at an incision somewhere around the belly button. And then additional incisions are made on either side and instruments are put down into the abdomen. While the camera is inside, the surgeon can actually see all of your organs um, and they're able to perform the procedure while the instruments and camera are inside your abdomen. Um, robotics is a, uh, another form of laparoscopy in which those instruments and the camera are mounted onto a robotic arm. Those robotic arms are controlled by the surgeon while sitting at a console. The benefits of robotics is that it allows for some uh, greater precision and greater definition in what the surgeon is viewing, as well as um, the ability to do a lot more complex procedures with a bit of ease. Um, it allows tasks like suturing to be done um, much more efficiently. So there are certain procedures that may be done better robotically as opposed to laparoscopy. How do I know if minimally invasive surgery is an option for me? It really depends on your anatomy and clinical picture. Most large uteruses and large fibroids can be removed laparoscopically or robotically, particularly by a high volume, uh, specially trained uh, surgeon. So that might be something that you want to look into. Um, in general, it's important to have this conversation openly with your physician and potentially even seek additional help and consultations.